Okay, guys, we're back with episode five. Let's go. Let's get into this. No, 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 no. It's episode six. Episode six. My bad. Yo, those cars down there. Flash. I see Lambos. Green. See yellow. Just a bunch of high class, low life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. You see it from up there? Just the very top of it. And guys, do not mind the same share. I'm literally recording all most of these videos the same day. It's Sunday right now. And I have school on weekdays, so that's why I gotta make some videos for the week. I gotta start doing that now. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan! Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, no, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine, fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. Come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Just try to keep your tucks clean. Thanks. Chapter six, once a thief. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Uh, what was the point of jumping up there for? Sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh, bang. Uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like uh, third. I had a couple of odd jobs with Sullivan. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, there's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh, I missed. <laughs> See? Yeah, it's not bad. First second yeah. attempt. I'm done. Boom. There we go. See that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Okay, so where to next? Hey, we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. 
All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, yeah, stop showing off, buddy. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. Okay. They squatted out there. Inghilterra, traditore. Hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Okay, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. Little things, but they add up. That was a loud jump. That should hold. All right, come on down. Things are a little more painful than I remember. Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. Hey. Can't wait. So what do we do now? I don't see anything to climb here. This could be something. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. Okay up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm dead. No! Oh my god. I always seem to fail. It'd suck there we go. Right now. Sure would. But I don't miss. <laughs> I 
Let it loose, baby. Oof. This game is like so unique. Kind of like Assassin's Creed in it, but way better. Thanks. Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, fly it up. You alright? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. Alright, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Ah. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamned. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What? What about that? Come on, let me show you something. This is where it gets crazy. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. Well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see <laughs> us making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something there exactly you wait for the lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. Mm. Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. Let's do this. Sounds like a plan. You gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I'm not it up. Excuse me. me. Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hell no. <laughs> You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a possible French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompadour Center. I just sold them this piece of the Sell it just through there. Let's go. Let's do this, boys. Game time. Of course they play douchey European techno. Pardon me. Read the scouts. Yeah. 
You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Pickpocket time. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Don't move, stay where you are, please. There we go. Stop moving. Hands in the air. I make that. Oh, look who came up. I don't know who you are, though. Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feel so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. I'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? Catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? It's called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah. Right. But you had a run-in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You, uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> well, I'm ready, boy. Let's, Let's it. get it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. <laughs> Learn one out of the kitchen, probably. I have a feeling we're gonna end up fighting somebody. Maybe. I'm not saying it's bad, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Crap! You see a waiter in there? Nah, no, just more heavily armed goons. <laughs> what the hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Right. <laughs> We could make our way into these vents. There you go. Let's see some 
fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. Alright, then I'll open the door. There we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. <laughs> Don't suppose you brought it. That'll do. My freaking neck hurts. I don't know it's why. It's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Let's see. I need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. That's a lot of really rare vintage. And maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. Hey, uh, should be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Damn, dead end. Where are we supposed to go? All through here. There you go. I right, now I got this, I think. To give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Hold the lighter. Be strong out here, boy. Okay, now what do I do? Oh, we're supposed to go up there? I did not know that. Right there. Like the game, this game like gets me sometimes because you never know where you're supposed to go. You have to find out yourself. That's the one thing that gets to me about this game. But it's still cool though, I mean, challenges will make the games fun. You 
Shh, shh, shh. Let me up. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. Oh, All right. Guys. Good thing you kept in shape. Help me up now. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? <sighs> Must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Didn't we have a key? Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Got it? Heads up, heads up. <laughs> Buona sera. Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he waits to put a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. You do your job, I'll do my job. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? No, oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. Come on, <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. Oh, fuck. I start all over again. Nope, I'm go this way. Okay, just like riding a bike. Several hundred feet in the air. I died. Oh my gosh, see this is what gets me in this game. I'm not even getting mad though. Alright, could have brought me back over here. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. Thank you, we made it.
Good thing that rock was right there. Oh, I fell out. <laughs> I Freak. can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex partner. Mm. Yeah, you know, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh? Like dead? Oh. Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! the hell are you? Rafe? How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business, now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. What would be the point in that? And these guys are only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want a bit against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. See? <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item. An inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving it in a goddamn Rafe. fight. Get my point. Lovely seeing you both. He needed to disrespect his cup. Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. We got this. Boof. God, why did I pick the power room? And we are in here, I think.
Speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo! Ma è svento! Okay, now let's shut go. this power down. Where the hell are the circuit breakers? It's locked. Oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? Of course. Damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the we power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? He won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That bid brings Don't us worry. to 120. You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now the bid has reached 110,000. Nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn There's nothing in these toolboxes you can crack the lock with. Come on. Gotta be something. Come on. The man stands at the sweat bullets. Yeah, give me a second. Yes. There we go, Kobar. I'm gonna shut this baby off. Alright, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's beat 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. These guys about to shut off. Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. <laughs> Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey! Stop that guy! Fair What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak! Sparish! What? Okay, we'll be ending episode 6 here. Peace.